What's happening everybody? T-Biz here. Happy Monday. I want to go let you guys know I quit collecting comics for about, I guess, a few months. It's been a while. I, I can't remember when, those, when was the last time I went to the uh, Dragon's Lair, our local comic shop, to go pick up some comics, but it's been a while. I, I kind of went through a point where I had a falling out with collecting, and I was like, um, you know what? I'm not going to collect anymore. I'm not going to read comics anymore. I'm going to, I mean, I still read comics, but I wasn't going to collect. I thought I was going to have to move. I had some issues with our house, and just... You know, it just a lot of crap going on, so I, I just kind of had a falling out with stuff. And um, lately, I've kind of wanted to reunite myself with comics. And I kind of told myself, as a true, any true addict out there of anything, um, especially with comics or toys, I told myself, you know what, Matt, go and just get what you like, get what you know, and and don't go out and try to collect every freaking issue out there that's under the sun. Because I have a problem with me. It's I'm very all or nothing. I'm either 100% into everything or just not at all. So it's just how I am. Um, just kind of wacky like that. But anyhow, went up, went down to Dragon's Lair and picked up some comics. Uh, I was missing some back issues of uh, Masters of the Universe, so figured I'd catch up. And I've got number 11, and it uh, looks, looks pretty cool. And uh, number 12, which looks really awesome. I like the cover of this uh, issue because it looks like I like the way Stratos looks on here. The Stratos looks pretty neat right there. And, um, and He-Man looks cool in his armor, and uh, I guess that's Moss Man right there, he looks pretty cool too. But another cool thing about the cover is the goddess, the green goddess from the, uh, Masters Universe Classic Series, and plus the mini-comics from back in the day. I, I had to get that, she looked really cool, and I was like, man, that, that looks like a good issue. And then, got this one too, because it has King He-Man on the cover, uh, you know, forging the, looks like the sort of power, you know, and I was just like, man, that, that looks pretty cool too. And all these seem to have, or not all of them, but a few of them seem to have the origin of She-Ra, which I'm missing the latest one. I didn't pick it up today because I didn't have enough money. Anyhow, moving along. I love uh, old vintage style horror comics. I'm a big fan of, uh, of this old style. And uh, Yo! Graphics, um, or Yo! Comics, they've been uh, re-releasing all these like kind of old uh, issues from, I guess, like the maybe like the 40s and 50s, maybe? I'm not sure how old these are or how far these date back, but uh, these are just really, really cool comics. I just love the old vintage style, and I think a lot of these were before the comics code, so um, so they're really uh, really pretty graphic and really pretty messed up, and I really dig them a lot. And, uh, and you know, I'm not like a huge horror fan or anything like that, and um, but I do like old classic horror comics. And also on a side note, uh, I wanted to pick up this book really bad, I haven't asked him to order it, but it's cool because it's got a, I guess, an introduction from Jerry Only, The Misfits, and if you know me and by my tattoo, I'm a big Misfits fan, I love that band, always have, always will, and um, and yeah, I would like to definitely pick up these books, I, lo I love the old style art, it's really cool. Anyhow, moving along, I picked up this one, Weird Love, and it's another Yo! Um, vintage uh, style, I guess, you know, revival of uh, reprinting old, uh, I guess these are weird love comics. And um, I had to pick it up, I saw the covers, and then I love just scary, freaky covers like these, and uh, I thought it looked pretty neat, and I was like, man, you know, th this is going to be something cool to check out, so I figured, why not? And I'm also a big fan of, uh, I guess, uh, Sergio Aragonis. Um, I love, uh, I, I never read Gru, but I always thought it looked cool. I always loved the cartoons that he would do for Mad uh, Magazine, and those were always cracked me up. I always loved those uh, little cartoon panels that he'd do, and, and they're, just, they're always funny. So I haven't bought one of these in a while, and uh, these are by Bongo Comics, by the way, and uh, they do a lot of the Simpsons stuff. And uh, yeah, these are really, really funny. They're really, really hilarious. And uh, oops, there's a sneak peek there. There's a Superman. And. Um, but no, these are just really good. Here's like a little preview, I guess. It's a guy walking by chicks. He's gonna dive, and they're gonna be like, "Oh, he's cool." He's gonna he's fantasizing. He's gonna dive off again, be real cool. Then a uh, fly buzzes by, freaks him out, splat. Uh, belly face buster right in front of the hot chicks. Pretty funny. But anyhow, let me give you a little preview. Um, there's all kinds of neat things in here. Let's see if I can find them. There's all kinds of like little puzzles and brain teasers like uh like I guess you can see uh between these two drawings there are ten differences. Yeah, you, what you do on, on pages like these is you find the differences in the pictures and stuff like that. And uh and it's just I don't know, it's cool. It's a cool book, it's fun, and I like it, and he's just got an awesome sense of humor and awesome art. 
And and what I really went to the comic shop for is um, is to pick the Superman 32 up because I haven't, I don't think I have any of, I've I got some back issues but not a lot of Superman lately, but, um, but I haven't bought them in a while. And I saw that online, or at least on YouTube, that uh, Jeff Johns and John Romita, or at least John Romita, is going to be doing the art. And... And Klaus Jansen's awesome too. The, all these three guys are awesome. They're 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 the comic icons. Anyhow, I love John Romita. I um I liked it when he did the latest Captain America run for Marvel. That was like awesome. I really liked the whole Arnim Zola uh, storyline with that and stuff. I thought that was really cool. And um, still makes me want to get that figure. I haven't got it yet. Anyhow, yeah, I, I really I really dig his art and. Um, I love the kick-ass uh, comics that he did, too. And I love Jeff Johns. I love Jeff Johns' run on uh, Green Lantern and stuff like that. And Jeff Johns, is just, he's just an awesome writer. And uh, and so, uh, yeah, I had to just I had to pick this up. I was like, I'm going to read this. I'm going to get it. It's going to be awesome. It looks awesome. And, uh, yeah, it looks like it's got kind of like a gatefold. It's a nice gloss cover, which is cool. And it's got a nice gatefold where he's busting open the shirt and the clothes and bam just superman it's awesome really really cool i like that and um i give a shout out to the mean game uh comic machine ivan ruiz he uh he mentioned getting this and i guess this is the last part or the yeah the final act of the uh zero year and i have i think most of these i don't I miss i know i'm missing some issues of this but i figured man i better pick up this last issue just to catch up and just to you know see what's up but i'm gonna be honest i have pretty much I have a ton of the new uh the new Batman new 52 Batmans um I'm missing a few of the early numbers I'm missing a few of the numbers after before this but uh but man I, I really haven't caught up with reading these I've when I was collecting comics I bought so many comics that I basically haven't had time to read everything I'm, I'm kind of lazy that way and I've also borrowed some trades from a friend of mine a good friend and I need to finish those so it's like I really, really, really have to catch up on some reading. But I figure on a rainy day or something happens or whatever and I'm just bedridden or have nothing to absolutely do, I, what better you know, better yet, I can catch up on all these Batmans when I got the time. But uh, anyhow, uh, yeah, once again, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and uh, have a good Monday, and I'll be posting some more reviews and videos and crap soon. Thanks, guys. Peace.